Hi guys and welcome back to the Tat Cave. I'm here with Andrea. Hello. And well you'll be able to see behind me I have pulled out every piece of electronics from storage in order to test it all and get it all listed. And there's tons of it, there's way more than I thought. And this isn't even all of it either. I thought while it's all out and I'm about to test it all, we would just do a video okay. and run through what I've managed to find. And then maybe we'll do a follow-up video and we'll talk about the sort of values it has and what worked and what didn't. Yeah. So, so I'm going to be the wonderful camera person. So you're going to be the camera person <laughs> and film it. Yeah. Um, had, a, had a good weekend of sales. Well, Saturday was awful on eBay, wasn't it? Mm. And then Sunday was much better. We did over yeah. £300 on Sunday, including, could you just grab that? Sold the other one of these tapestries. Now this unassuming little tapestry kit of a tree, it's got all the yarn in it. We managed to get £75 for that. And that was a, well I got two of them and some cross stitch kits for a pound at the jumble. And we sold the other tapestry for 50 and the yep. cross stitch kits for 10 so that's... There's money in tapestries. <laughs> yeah. I'm amazed that sold for 75. But that's been unused, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's unused. Yeah, they, they, they both were. So yeah, £135 with postage on top from a pound, yep. one of our better scores. Absolutely. So yeah, anyway, we'll crack on because there's loads and loads of this electronics behind me. What we're going to do is just change the view and Andrew's going to film me and I'll just show you what I've managed to dig out from storage. Okay. Okay, right, if I start here, like I say, this is all untested stuff. I'm just going to show you what's here and then we'll do another video about what worked and what didn't and stuff. So we have managed to dig out. This is a breast pump. Yeah, yeah. I remember picking that up. Yep, from the <laughs> jumble. Two of these singing Teletubbies, these screens scroll around, they just need batteries putting in and testing. Some CD Walkmans, two really nice Sony ones. They should go really well. Again, all of this just needs testing. I think that's just a case, yeah. And the Ferguson. Little Ben 10 watch needs a battery putting in. We found some Nikki Clark. What do you call them? Curlers. Uh, curlers, are they? Yeah. Right, heated rod things. An Olympus camera. That was from that same um, jumble, yeah. I think. Black and Decker wallpaper stripper. Still got a stick on it, two pounds, but I think I got it for a pound if I remember rightly. This, I think, is a fairly decent like um, headset for phones. So you can talk on the phone with a headset. Yep. And then there's loads and loads of phones. There's a, what's that one? Giga set, it says on it. A Binatone there, BT Studio. These, a lot of these phones aren't a great they're not worth a great deal, but most of these I picked up either at jumble sales or at boot sales for next to nothing. And I tend to part them out. But they all need testing. We've got Panasonic one in there with handsets and all sorts. Charger docks, another set in here of BT ones. This lot has just been accumulating over time. It's like um, accessories. That's a PlayStation 2, what do you call it? G-Con 2 gun, light gun. Don't think there's much value in those. Uh, PS2 controller, SingStar mics. Got all sorts in here. PSP mains adapter, Xbox 360 headsets, all that sort of stuff. So that just needs to be gone through, make some decisions on it and get rid of it. Uh, there's a Wii here that I picked up on Facebook, isn't it Facebook? I think yeah, it was. it was Facebook. Went and picked it up. It did have a Wii Fit board with it as well, which I've already sold. So that just needs setting up and testing. An Apple keyboards um, from the boot sale. They have some quite good value. I've just got to test it again. Get my stamps out of the way. Uh, a box full of computer components. Now I got this at the boot sale for next to nothing. It was like at the end of a boot sale and they were virtually giving it away. 
but I really don't think there's any value in it. I mean, these are, what are they, three and a half inch drives for discs, yeah. pretty much obsolete. So who knows whether there's any value in this stuff we've got here. There's a Sony DVD-ROM drive. Don't know, modem in there. Found loads and loads of this Kingston memory, probably obsolete. But again, it just needs going through, making decisions on, and either getting rid or, or selling. Again, bags of phones. These are, I don't know what, mate. Are they BT ones again? BT Studio phones. Another one. Not there. Oh, BT again. Graphites. A couple of, these are slow cookers. Yeah. We yep. got that for a pound. In the well, that's this one. Oh, yeah, that one. it says on it eight pound fifty, yeah. but that was when a local chain to us were having a crazy clearance sale. And everything was a pound. Yeah, and then media was like four for a pound, etc. So yeah, although that says eight pound fifty, we got it for a pound. I did look into these at the time. The top end for those, it's not great, twenty to twenty five. Uh, this was from a boot sale and I think that was a pound as well. Yeah. Some of these have different designs on and some are quite sought after, I believe. I think yeah, that, that one I think in that's front quite a good is one. Eternal Bow. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's quite that maybe quite a sought, sought after. after. It's quite a sought after pattern. Because people collect the patterns and this one's quite good as well, but I can't yeah, remember I now what, what it is. is. So it's I obviously did... quite 70s or 80s. Yeah, I did find out, but I've forgotten. So yeah, they're okay. They just need plugging in, checking that they heat up. Yeah and there'll be a quick sale. Uh, there's loads and loads and loads of kitchen appliances and stuff that I haven't pulled out. They're the only kitchen related ones really, but I have at least this much again, just in kitchen appliances, <laughs> which I haven't even pulled out yet. Um, there's a portable sewing machine, Ronco, Ooh, as seen good. on TV. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I remember looking these up. They're not great, price wise. Looks good though. Although some people randomly manage to get good money and loads and loads don't sell, so who knows. Just needs testing and getting rid of. Another phone, another BT Graphite phone set. Uh, what's this? BT Sonus. Sonus? Yeah, Sonus. Another phone. Again, if it all checks out, I might sell it as a set, but you can get more part in them out. So. Radio, nice little Bush vintage. I'm guessing that's what, what would you guess, 70s, 80s? Around that time. Maybe earlier, who knows. Yeah. The world's grottiest and smelliest GameCube. Oh, lovely. It's, you know when things have been in a house that is just mm. with heavy smokers? Oh, look at the yellowing on here. It's gonna take some cleaning up. Well. Look at the discolour. Look, that's oh. the purple it was. Look, oh. So yeah, there's that. The controller is just as bad and it's lost its, you know, its rubber bits. But it does have the mains uh, adapter and the official AV lead, so who knows? I made really good money on the games. I bought it with a stack of games, I think for 15. Right. Was it 15? I can't remember. But I've, I've made really good money on the game, so even if I only get the leaves out of that. Happy days, just need sorting and listing. Oh. <laughs> Sounded like a phone. Yeah, there's phones everywhere. Look, another stack of BT phones. Just need to get rid of a binatone there. Two retro oh, phones. Nice looking phones. Yeah. Um, again, just need testing. Some console bits here. Oh, that's got a label on it. Fully tested and working pad. Oh, I'm just waiting for a power lead. So hopefully somewhere in all of this, I'll have a yeah. power lead to get that one done. So that's already tested. We've got a Mega Drive plug and play. This is cool. This is a deluxe talk girl uh, made famous by, um, what's the film I'm thinking of? Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's got its Home Alone 2 tape inside it. So that just needs testing and getting rid of. And then we've got, I can get it back in. Ah. 
There we go. A really nice condition PS1 with a couple of really clean pads. Had that knocking around for ages, just need testing and listing. A box full of Wii stuff. There's a faulty Wii console in there. My parents had one that broke, so I gave them one, and that's their faulty one. I don't even know why that's left still in there, really. Just need to bin that, really. A super soaker that needs batteries putting in it and testing it. A little Sony stereo there. Yeah, that used to be ours, didn't it? Was that the one that was ours, or didn't it come from your nan? thought it was ours. I thought your nan got rid of it and we ended up with it. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a Super 8 um, projector there that I bought with all of those um, films that I'm going to sell off. The projector is a good one. I can't remember what they go for, 50, 60 or maybe more. And a little hands um, winder. The videos that I've been ignoring for ages we've got a panasonic there a philips uh this is an lg one and there's a pioneer cd player a separate and this is the cream of the bunch really this toshiba this is a cd to dvd writer um and recorder so yeah they just need testing putting on down here i've managed to pull out another what do you call it what do you call it Ujima flip, um, <laughs> wallpaper stripper. <laughs> I was wondering if we're going to get there. Um, and this had not been around for way too long. You can probably read on there. It says Goblin Teas Made. So that just needs testing. Another video that I was told was unused when I bought it. It does have these bits still sealed so it looks like it's unused who knows that needs sorting out getting rid of and Sinclair Spectrum Ooh. remember when we picked this up yeah that was in Bedford that was the tabletop sale was it? well what do you call it jumble trail jumble trail yeah <laughs> so we've got Spectrum power pack uh, a little joystick and then loads and loads of games so that should be a fast seller yeah, once I get it nice. tested. These, um, apart from that one, they've been tested already. My brother-in-law who's an electrician, hooked those up and tested those. Yeah. This one needs a new cord, which I doubt I'm gonna bother doing. So that is about it. Okay. So I'm gonna spend all day testing as much of this stuff as I can. Once we've been through it all, we might do another little roundup video and let you know what we've found out, basically. What works, what doesn't, and how much it's all worth. Yeah. That's the plan. Okay. Yep. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.